Playlist Push said what? What's going on guys? This is Omari and in this video today, we are going over the difference between Playlist Push and Omari MC. Now, if you're an independent artist, you've likely already heard about both services. So I thought who better to do an in-depth comparison than me myself. Now, honestly, I would never have made this video had Playlist Push not said a couple things about us that simply weren't true. So I'm just gonna show you guys what they said. To be fair and honest, we did start this. So if you guys don't know and haven't seen any ads on Google and on Facebook, uh, you can put ads so different artists can see them and you can target a bunch of different keywords. So we had an article about uh, the difference between Playlist Push and Submit Hub and Omari MC, just going over reviews and uh, differences and analysis between the three companies. Now, that article uh, wasn't bashing anybody, wasn't saying anything untrue, it was just competition. Competition is healthy, uh, you need competition in any space, but when it turns into you know, telling things that aren't true about a different company, that's where we absolutely draw a line. We don't need to tell anything false about a different company because we already believe in our service. We believe our service is better. Therefore, we just tell the truth. We have no need to make up anything. So I'll show you guys exactly what that article is. It was this article going over uh, guaranteed playlist pitching services, um, like uh, that review I was just telling you guys about. Um, and you can see that we made this article on April 8th, 2020. So did we start it, so so to speak? Yes, we started it. Um, you can see exactly what we said. If you wanna go find this article, it's the pros and cons of guaranteed playlist pitching. Uh, we went over uh, Submit Hub, Playlist Push, ourselves. Uh, now, like any good company, we should believe that our service is better. And we should explain to you all why that service is better. Uh, what we said about Playlist Push, is that um, there were more hands on this submit hub. Uh, they have like, you know, a convenience feature where you just submit your, your song to a pool of curators with one click, where submit hub doesn't have that. All these things are true. Like we, we didn't have to make up anything. Uh, what we did say is that playlist push is just more of a playlist pushing service. It's not as much as a, of a one-stop shop for the proper advice and consultation that many artists need. Um, and it's, it's a bit pricier. That's, that is what we said. And these things are true. So as I was searching Google and, um, searching YouTube a few months later, we're in 2021. Now I find an article that is from playlist push going over the difference between playlist push and Omari MC. Now, again, competition is a good thing. Thing. You need competition. Why I'm making this review video is because competition doesn't need to lie. If you already believe that you're better, you don't need to say something that's not true about a different company. So let me show you guys what this article said when I clicked on it. Omar MC versus Players Push, an in-depth service review. So um, they're, they're listing... Uh, let's see what's here. Oh, uh, Playlist Push and Omar MC are two very different services. Playlist Push is the industry leader in playlist promotion, featuring over uh, 1,100 highly vetted premium playlists and advanced matching technology. So are they free to think they're the industry leader? Yes, they should think that they're the industry leader. Um, we think we're the industry leader in a lot of different categories. Nothing wrong with that. Omar MC is a much smaller service offering very little scale or advanced tech in comparison. All right, so this isn't where, you know, necessarily a lie is, but Omar is a much smaller service. If we were much smaller, why would they need to dedicate an entire article just for us on their website? Like in ours, uh, we, we don't need to say they're much smaller or, or anything like that. Uh, we know that they're competition, so we can call them that. But if we were much smaller, why would we need a dedicated page on their website just for us. So let's let's keep that rolling because we're gonna get back to that point later. This line here is a little bit of what prompted me 
to make this video. It says this article is not a slam on any other company, but a deep dive into which platform and service is actually best for your specific goals as a musician. Sounds pretty familiar because if you go look into our article and we scroll up, what's the first line in this article written by us? Clearly written before because this article by Playlist Push, as you can see when you go and search it on Google, it started on, they were going to write it on medium.com, which is like a blog writing website. But then they switched it over to their own website and published it on there, probably because they can track that a little bit better with the ads. This was written on January 14th, 2021 is when it was going to be posted on Medium. Probably posted the same day or day after on their website. As you can see from ours, April 8th, 2020. That's months before. Uh, who wrote that sentence first? Us. So if you're a better service, why would you be copying the ex exact words of what we're saying in our article? Doesn't really make much sense. Uh, let's keep it moving. Players Push has promoted music for over 1,300 serious artists in 2020 alone. They've had countless strategy calls, emails, and social media messages with a myriad of questions from artists looking to get set on the right path. Uh, that looks a little familiar again. Had countless consultation calls, emails, and social media messages with a myriad of questions from artists looking to get set on the right path. If you're going to make a competition article, don't copy exactly what the competition said. Doesn't look good. Let's keep it moving. Campaign setup. Uh, Players to push goes over the campaign setup. If the song's approved, uh, they reach out with an email. Um, as you can see below, we show you the playlist your song is going to before you pay us, unlike Omari. Now, here's one of the differences in the services. Um, playlist Push is more of the, the pitching service. We do have Spotify pitching and Apple Music pitching, but we're more hands-on with the campaign, whereas they are more automated with the campaign. So when you submit us your song, we go through the curators and we select which ones are going to match this song, right? Uh, whereas with, with Playlist Push, as you can see, as they've written on their article, they have a, a pool of curators for each genre or each subgenre or um, different artist matching. Like, let's say you have a, a funk band and you, you say that you sound like Earth, Wind & Fire, right? Uh, and then you can put in that artist's name on Playlist Push, and they'll give you uh, kind of some subgenres or genres that that band sounds like, and then you can pick those genres to submit to those curators within their system, all right? So with our service, we are manually going through our curators, and we're seeing which ones that it lines up with. And then those curators have to request that song from us if they think it's a good fit. So we go through and we say, all right, they requested this, this curator requested this song from us. Uh, do we think that it's a good fit for this curator given all the requests that happen? Uh, so if we think that it is a good fit, then we will assign it to that curator. They can put that song on their list. Any curator can put the song on their list from us. It's just, do we approve it before they add it? is the question. So we're more hands-on. We go through every campaign and we're matching it with the curators manually. Whereas Players Push is more automated um, to where they, they send it to a certain group of curators based on how much you pay. All right, so let's keep it moving. On Omar MC, you upload music to a payment form and they send you a link to a playlist he or someone force added your music to. As I just said, it is not being force added. It is being matched to those curators. They had to request a song from us in order for it to be uh, assigned to their list from us. Um, then um, he then sends you to the link to Spawn Tracks. Spawn Tracks is a completely separate company. You need to sign up there to access data. Now, this part is true because, as I said, we are manually going through the campaigns. It is not an automated process. It is more hands-on from us and from our staff. So that is why that part is true. Next, content moderation. Playlist push supports, 
supports all artists, regardless of a few swear words or not. Omar MC does not allow music that has explicit content. So, firstly, uh, this is true. I'll go into this. But let's stop and think about this for a second. Because up here, it said we were uh, much smaller in their words company. Uh, first of all, we're comparable size. That's why they had to dedicate this article to us. And then secondly, we're comparable size even though we don't promote any explicit content that takes you can take out 50 percent of the music that's on spotify pretty much 50 percent of the music on spotify has some sort of explicit content or close to it um and we're still comparable size even though we don't promote explicit content even though we turn we voluntarily turn down business we're still comparable size Think about that for a second. There's a reason for that. There's a reason we're still comparable size, even though we automatically turn down half of our orders. We could double revenue overnight, but we don't do that. And that's because it's not just about a few swear words as they put it. There's been too many companies that have profited off harming society and they turn a blind eye and they take a profit um, this one would be including, you know, the, the artists, the uh, platform in question, Spotify, or any of the rest of them. Um, they promote songs. And we talked about this in another video. You can find that on our channel uh, about how, you know, there's there's these companies that, uh, for instance, on Blackout Tuesday. You guys remember last year in 2020, there was Blackout Tuesday. You put a black square on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever. It's supposed to show solidarity. Uh, for black people and um, all the things that were happening in the summer. Um, meanwhile, their their largest playlist on Spotify, song after song after song, is continually talking about degrading women, in particular degrading black women. It's also talking about uh, go kill this black person, go kill that person, this, that, and the third. Now, there's a difference between talking about how you grew up or where you grew up and the situations around you versus glorifying bad things that are happening in society. And so it goes way deeper than just, oh, Amari doesn't promote this song because it has a few swear words. No, uh, we're not going to profit off of something that we don't believe in. Like I said, too many companies have already done this. I don't know if Players Push has thought about what I just said uh, but or any of the other regular labels. But now when you're watching this, it's not just about like a few swear words. We've worked with a ton of artists. A ton of artists have different views. Uh, sometimes they send us edited versions. Sometimes they just send us different songs that they would have, the ones without explicit content. Um, there's been tons of artists that talked about very real subjects. But if it comes to glorifying, you know, degrading women, uh, violence, like all that stuff. No, we don't profit off of it because it would make us hypocrites. So that's why I wanted to camp there for a second because it's more than just about, oh, they promote a few swords, so like I can go with them versus Omari. No, it's way bigger than that. And if you have explicit content, you know, we can work with you. Uh, we can get you, which is some different engineering services that can't edit your content, or you can just send us content in the future. It's all good for us. Like I said, we voluntarily turned down this profit. Uh, so that's why we would even be comparable size anyway. But let's keep it moving. So transparency, um, play this push, believes in being as transparent as possible when you're in a campaign. Um, they have tightly vetted curators. We display this playlist you're being pitched to, uh, so you know exactly where your music is going. Um, first of all, Tightly vetted curators. If we're talking about transparency, what does tightly vetted curators mean? That's a good question, right? You should be asking that question. You should ask that of us. You should ask that of them. You should ask that for any service that you are pitching your music to. So for us, it says emergency provides you with little information on who is receiving your music and why. You simply force to add your song, regardless of genre, to random playlists that somehow drive streams for a short period of time. So is this true? Of course not. That is not true. We already explained um, the the force ad, which we don't do. And then in terms of transparency for uh, tightly vetted curators, 
we are the ones who put the gold standard of explaining how we research our Spotify playlists. You guys have probably seen either the article uh, or this video. If you haven't, then go check out this video uh, because you need to see this regardless of who you're pitching. Uh, pitching to Playlist Push or us or uh, Submit Hub or anybody, you need to know how to research these playlists for yourself. So we put a whole video, it's like 16 minutes long, on how to spot good Spotify playlists, how we do our research. Feel free to go look at that and um, get some good research and analysis on how to spot uh, good curators. So let's keep it moving. Customer service. Now, this is another area that annoyed me, and I'll explain to you guys why. Because uh, a lot of our people watching this are artists, uh, and they're not the ones promoting the music uh, with these playlist services. You guys are essentially you know, paying us or paying Playlist Push to promote your music. And uh, this one is... It, it, it turned from competition to like political attack ad, right? Or, you know, these days it turned into a cable news network uh, showing you some biased information. So it's this place folks to say uh, they take customer service very seriously when someone not only trusts us with their art, you know, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, this sentence right here is pretty much plagiarized too. We have a live chat service where you can click look at campaign details. Um, RMC is known, do not have any type of refund policy, false, and has been known to be combative, unhappy customers. Uh, it is nearly impossible to reach anyone at the company unless you relentlessly message them on social media. So, uh, they have no proof of that. It's untrue. Uh, now, here's why I said what I said about this one being catty and like a political attack ad. They know better than anybody that uh, they know just as well as we do that we could go look at their reviews on Trustpilot or whatever. We can find a negative review, even though there's far more positive reviews of their service. And we could then make this video that we're making right now entirely about a negative review that they received. Every service that is doing any sort of volume is going to have a negative review or two. Even though our Trustpilot score is higher than theirs at the moment, over hundreds of reviews, uh, it's just catty to, to find one bad review and say that their entire customer experience is like this because it's probably not true. There's probably some disgruntled customers. Um, we don't know exactly what happened with them. We'll even give them the benefit of the doubt on that. Like if they have a disgruntled customer, maybe something happened that they're just not seeing eye to eye. You know, it happens. It happens with me. It happens with you. It happens with everybody. Um, so for for them to, to be the people and kind of just manipulate that for for the people reading this, um, it, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. Um, you'll get great customer service with us. Uh, we have a phone we have strategy calls, we have live chat, we have social media messages. Uh, you guys can hit us up on any of those and you will get a response. But let's keep it pushing. So next session here, playlist. Omar MC doesn't seem to have any vetting process. False, if they just did a little bit of research. Um, this video again, 16, 17 minutes long, goes over the whole vetting process. Um, from what we've seen and her from other artists, you will get so I had to random play this that very little to do with your genre. Okay, so again, false. That this 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 is kinda like what I just said. It's it's going through and selecting um one of the far minority of you know a, a customer who maybe didn't see eye to eye, uh, which happens all the time, guys. For if you go look at their their reviews. Uh, you'll see some people saying that the genre matching was off, the genre matching was bad, and you'll see some people saying that the genre matching was good and that they're happy with the service. Um, with our service and their service, so that you guys understand, it's different than a food service or something like that when somebody leaves a review because um, it's dependent on the song itself. The success of the campaign is also dependent on the song and our abilities to promote. So naturally, there's just going to be some people that, 
you know, love the service. Um, like I said, both of us have over a four on Trustpilot. So most people are going to like the service, but then you'll just get some. Uh, so to make like this, this head, this uh, section here about their articles uh, from what we've seen and heard, it's just kind of, you know, it's, it's like you can, you can do better than that is what I'm thinking. Like you can come up with something better than just trying to pick through one or two bad reviews and then, uh, you know, pretty much copying what we said on our article. Like if you're really significantly better, you can be more original than that. And then this last section here, they're just going through other reviews left. Um, like I said, um, already went through that, that concept with those reviews. So, uh, let's see, players push seamlessly, seamlessly matches your music to the great curators. That's their view. They should have that view again. Uh, it's their service. They should think that their service is better. I'm not talking about that in this video. The competition is, is fine. Um, but whenever you have to lie about your competition, that's that's where it gets to me. So it says Amar is good if you don't have any explicit lyrics in your music. Um, that that sentence is true. If you are looking for a finite number of plays, uh, not true. And virtually nothing organic, also not true. As we pointed out, you can go research this video on YouTube about how we actually research playlists and teach you how to research them. Instead of just saying we vet people, we show you how we vet people. Uh, nothing organic. It could be a good fit for your music with those with limited budget. So, um, kind of snooty there, honestly, for those with limited budget. So for, for all the indie artists out there, um, that, uh, don't want to spend a few hundred bucks to try out a service, uh, yes, ours is better and then they can scale up afterwards. Um, so there's, there's nothing wrong with having a li limited budget when you start guys. Uh, there's nothing wrong with humble beginnings. Um, but yeah, so the, the, the other main difference with our service that I want you guys to understand is that we know more about certain subjects uh, because we just have more experience in them. That's not a knock on anybody else. It's just simply true. Uh, if you want to, to get a service to do your Facebook and Instagram ads, you're likely going to pick out a company that you've seen a bunch of Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Google ads from. Uh, it just means that we have more experience in that. We've spent more dollars in that. We've made more mistakes than anybody else. Thus, we can uh, skip over all that process when we're running your ads because we've already spent all that testing money on our ads. So if you want to find a service that not only just does the Spotify uh, playlist pitching or just has, you know, Apple Music or uh, TikTok and you want to move into more of a full scale digital agency, um, check us out. We have Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, as well as we manage Facebook and Instagram ads for artists. And we also have website design. So when I say full scale, I mean that. Artists aren't going to make all their money just from streaming revenue. You need to know more about how to actually have a full time career as a musician. And to do that, you need Facebook and Instagram ads. You need a website. You need your own products and services. And that's the type of care that you get from our service. So this was the difference between playlist push and Omari MC. If you guys have any other questions, Drop them in the comment section. You can go check out these articles. We'll try to drop those in the comment section too. And I'll see you guys in the next video.